when we are working at office every now and then we have to run some queries most of the time we will be running select queries but sometimes there are requirements where we have to update or delete uh, and some records uh, update and delete are very critical queries like making a mistake in those queries can be quite drastic and they could they could cause a disaster in a company in terms of a financial penalty or it could just take a, a lot of time to restore your data in case you make a mistake so all we can do is we can try our best to avoid this issue as much as we can the tips that i use to avoid the update or delete queries is uh, as follows so let's say we got a requirement to change the status for uh, employees which have higher date before this particular date so usually uh, what we do is uh, if we are quite familiar with the database we become so confident that we we are sure that our query will never go wrong and we start typing the query like let's say we will type the query uh, like this update and we will just put table name and set status let's say we want to make it zero and then we will do higher underscore date is less than equal to this i know this query is correct but sometimes what happens is out of our confidence sometimes we will uh, there could be a human error like we might skip this where clause just skipping this where clause as you can see here it can cause a disaster in our database all it will do is this condition will uh, instead of uh, updating it like maybe uh, instead of where you you if you had more than one condition so just thinking like let's say if gender is equal to male uh, you were putting and and you by mistakenly kept on putting and and instead of uh, any other clause what it will do is it will just go ahead and update the table with the wrong status so to avoid that those kind of mistakes usually what i do and to is to basically first of all check our condition with the select query so let's say i want to get a data uh, for my database uh, where the higher date is before this date so first of all i'll go to my query builder and i'll make sure that i write a select query in the select query whatever condition i want to put i'll put it here and then select is safe i'm sure that i'm not gonna lose anything if the query is wrong so at least i have some records in front of me so once i'm comfortable like this is the records i'm i'm after and i'm i'm happy to make change to its status then at least i will have a clear picture so in this in this query i can see i have 135 rows so how i will update is i'll basically copy the same select query here and i will never then touch this where class what i will do is i'll make change to this section only the top section so instead of select start from i'll make it update and i'll keep the same table name and then i'll put set and then whatever status i want to use let's say i want to make it zero i'll make it zero another safety measure i can take uh, i usually i take is i also limit my query what you can do is you can also set a limit clause to your update uh, query so in case if some condition was wrong at least only those number of records will be impacted so no other uh, more than that will be impacted so what i would do is I would limit my query to the number of records i'm updating just to be safe side i'm not impacting the huge table in this case i have this table of roughly uh, i have this table of roughly uh, 200 something thousand like 300 thousand records so i will be sure that even if my query is wrong i'm not going more than that so then i will just copy this query and then i will run it and yes surely it is telling me that it has been executed and it only affected 135 records so this will ensure that uh, number one there will never be a mistake happening in my update query because i'm not touching my where clause number two i'm also limiting my query uh, with the 135 records which i got from the select so if i go back and if i now search um, if my higher date is less than or equal to 
this date I can see my status is changed to zero and if they are greater than this date they will always be in the one status I can sort by descending ascending that means all are unaffected and our query ran successfully same same logic you can use for the delete query as well all you have to do is you can do instead of uh, update you will make if you want to delete it you will be like delete from delete from employees where higher date is less than equal this so you will never touch the where clause and you will only make change to the top section i hope this helps thank you for watching